Chinese social media is excited about a futuristic robot that may assist humans in space by holding equipment, delivering parcels and performing other useful duties. A humanoid robot named Tycobot has already joined the crew of the recently finished Tian Kung space station. So what exactly makes this flying robot different from others? You will know more about Tycobot, a flying robot, tag along with us. Tycobot, a human flying robot created by Chinese scientists, is intended to lessen the labor of astronauts on space stations. Tycobot's sophisticated sensors and cameras enable it to carry out chores independently. It is as tall as an adult, yet weighs the same as a child. Tycobot was created by engineers from the National University of Defense Technology in Changsha to assist with daily duties inside the station. It has completed a trial inside a mock-up of Tiangong, China's space station. Tycobot was created in the likeness of a human to carry out duties and use equipment made for people. The humanoid robot is a full-scale, free-flying machine that stands 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighs little more than 55 pounds. Leading the project is Zhang Kui, a professor at the National University of Defense Technology in collaboration with Zhang Yulin, a professor at the Zhejiang University. Zhang Qi claimed that our Tycobot is capable of stable in-cabin navigation, robust astronaut detection and tracking, as well as skilled object manipulation. Tycobot can work with a variety of tools and user interfaces made for people. Tycobot, in contrast to Earth's ground walking robots, uses an innovative form of mobility that resembles how people move in space. Do you think this robot will become a unique material in the robotics industry? Tycobot hops against the wall during the push off phase, giving it a boost in speed as it approaches the goal area. When a robot is flying, it approaches its destination while carrying tools or cargo and correcting course in the air to stay on course. Several robots have been used at the International Space Station, including Robonaut 2, Corobo, and Skybot F850. The development team claims that Tycobot has two dexterous hands with 15 degrees of freedom and a dual arm system with an anthropomorphic dual arm system that allows it to accomplish numerous jobs at once. When we think about robots, they are usually made with heavy materials. So obviously robots can be very heavy. Do you think China's flying robot will also be heavy? The most wonderful thing is about its weight. It's just 25 kilograms. Lightweight units power all of its joints and the hands touch sensors make sure that movements are exact. Tycobot is lighter and travels more freely, which lowers the launch cost and increases safety during human-robot collaboration. Researchers think that robots like Tycobot have the potential to change space travel despite the fact that they can be expensive to produce and operate and that there is a chance of a technological failure or error. These robots could aid astronauts in space exploration more effectively and safely because of their sophisticated sensors and cameras and their capacity to carry out duties intended for humans. Space robotic assistants like Tycobot will shortly be crucial in space extraction and utilization. Robotic helpers can work around the clock and use only solar energy, unlike human astronauts who need a complicated array of equipment to survive in space, they claimed. Robots are set to become our partners in space and extend our strength and ability beyond our Earth cradle. The author writes, With the prosperity of manned space activities such as space tourism and deep space exploration. Before being transported to Tian Kong, Tagobot is now undergoing additional testing. So what exactly this flying robot is capable of? Will they transform it into a satellite? There are three standard inter-vehicle tasks that Tycobot mostly does. Inside the space station, autonomous inspection and search. Firm and work support from astronauts. The space station's fundamental functions and upkeep in between human visits. Tycobot's two-arm technology supports in-cabin microgravity, locomotion and biomanual manipulation. The first three shoulder joints are in a roll pitch yaw arrangement with a cinematic disposition and range of motion similar to a human arm. Pitch your pitch is a configuration of the remaining three elbow and wrist joints. The robot can move objects around in the flexible workspace in any position, thanks to the six doff arm. Besides all these performances of this robot, they have manufactured this robot with proper planning that will amaze you. Let's have a look. The human brain can perform various tasks with solely visual and tactile inputs. So the researcher intended to make up a robot which is having the approximate performance of a human. So they reduce the sensory inputs where Tycobot needs to perform different onboard functions. An RGBD camera is installed in the head for intra-vehicle visual navigation and astronaut augmentation. 
to give measurement in 1K8Z, an internal measurement unit is positioned close to the center of mass. To measure the reaction, wrenches and provide data required for inter-vehicle motion, planning and control, six DOF torque sensors are to be integrated right above each foot and hand. Each fingertip has tactile sensors attached to the top to help manipulate objects and grasp handrails. TycoBot employs a hierarchical processing and control architecture to boost productivity and attain real-time performance. An embedded Xavier NX computer with GPU resources handles the robot's high-level perception, planning and control. TycoBot can perform various inter-vehicle duties because of its mechatronic design and quick and effective mobility in zero-g environments. The space station has various physical interfaces to aid astronauts in movement. To acquire a wider workspace and more flexibility, TycoBot uses these shared interfaces and imitates the astronaut's method of mobility. It's such an amazing innovation. What are your thoughts? TycoBot's primary inter-vehicle movement techniques are PFP and docking. TycoBot uses the reaction forces between its limbs and environment during PFP. Now you will be thinking about PFP and docking. To perform wide-ranging and point-to-point -point mobility inside the space station, it is a dynamic and multi-phase operation. Push off, flight and parking are the three sub-processes that make up PFP locomotion in a loop. The robot uses the response forces in the push-off state of the loop to correct its posture and set an appropriate initial speed toward the target site. During the flight, the robot might adjust to attain its trajectory and become ready for parking. When a robot is in a stable whole body docking position for further operations, it is said to be parking. TycoBot is a humanoid robotic helper that uses whole body motion control to move around and perform other tasks in microgravity. Yes, what are your thoughts on landing this flying robot in microgravity? The robot's lightweight design concept lowers launch costs and improves safety while interacting with people. The robot may collaborate with humans by sharing a set of inter-vehicle interfaces thanks to the anthropomorphic design concept. TycoBot is a humanoid robotic helper that uses whole body motion control to move around and perform other tasks in microgravity. The robot's lightweight design concept lowers launch costs and improves safety while interacting with people. The robot may collaborate with humans by sharing a set of inter-vehicle interfaces thanks to the anthropomorphic design concept. Moreover, the capacity of TycoBot to learn and adjust to new circumstances is one of its primary characteristics. The robot can evaluate data and make decisions based on that data using artificial intelligence algorithms, which enables it to complete difficult jobs without help from a human. Have you thought about how China is now able to connect robots to space? Anyways, China has contributed great technology to the world that will definitely lead to a revolution. This is a step towards cosmic discovery. Also, this innovation is going to help astronauts for sure. What do you think about such innovation? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video and would like to learn more robotic news, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to not miss out on any video and get notifications on time. Don't hesitate to give suggestions to our videos. See you in the next video.